Hey everyone, this video is to show you guys, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how deadly a knife can be in terms of a self-defense situation. Um, just to go over this really quickly, I see a lot of uh, videos on YouTube from the gun community that talk about knives and then take it out to um, use it in terms of uh, utility purposes like chopping pieces of wood with it or just using it for other purposes other than in a self-defense situation. Uh, they do review their guns, they do review their knives, they do take their guns out to the range and shoot them. They do take their knives out and use them, but they talk about how gun, their gun can be used in self-defense situation. However, they don't do that for their knives, so there's a gap in there, and I'm going to try to fill that gap with this video. And also, one of my other previous videos, I talked about pocket-carrying knives for EDC, everyday carry. And I said that, in that video, I said, someone who's a professional, someone who's very skilled, can employ that knife within a second or less. And I'm going to prove that to you guys in this video. <clears throat> now, I'm, I'm by no means a professional. I just practiced it with it year, year, many years ago. And I can still, it's one of those things like riding a bike. After you get used to it, you forget about it, and you come back to it, it's very quick for you to pick up on, on it. Um, also, in terms of philosophy, um, a lot of us tend to get complacent when we do have our gun permit. Even if you don't have a concealed carry permit, um, when you get that gun permit, it's kind of like, okay, you have the power in your hands. Uh, very, you know, it's very, the power is, is tremendous. Um, so it's very easy for us to get complacent and think, okay, once we've shot it on the range, once we practiced with it a few, several times, um, we are pretty much all set to go. And I would have to say I disagree with that because I think the gun in terms of a training regimen, I think the gun should be the last thing you train on. Uh, obviously, that's not the case um, because there's no such thing to regulate it. Uh, you, know, you can go out and buy a gun if you're over 18, 21, and you can get it. Um, but I think you put yourself at a disadvantage if you think that's the only weapon system that you'll need. Uh, if I had it my way, and the way I, I actually just don't naturally happen to train was first was hand-to-hand, -hand, and then it was uh, knives or other personal, up close and personal weapons uh, like batons or uh, uh, you know, swords and then it was to the point of guns. So I think with that progression you learn pretty much every step about the way how to, how to use a weapon. So therefore when you're out in the, in the wild and you do encounter a, a threat it's, it's better for you. Uh, and for example, if I know how to knife fight I know where the vital points are. Uh, I know uh, if they do have a knife, I know how they're going to deploy it. Uh, I know what to look for. Uh, someone who, who, de who hasn't had that kind of training or experience won't know it. Um, and just to focus more on the knife part, you know, we've heard, we've heard or read about reports that if the, if the attacker is within several yards of you, uh, they can get to you first before you deploy your gun. Um, yes, because we are all law-abiding citizens, meaning we don't have our gun at the ready. If we did, the guy before the guy came up came at us with the knife, we'll probably already, you know, put 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 him out of action. Uh, but the point is, we are all law-abiding citizens, and we all respond, uh, just like cops, the police. We all respond to a threat after the threat has shown itself. Uh, it, for criminals, you know, they are already intent on hurting you, so they have uh, they have an advantage in lead time. So. Otherwise, they have a knife and they're hiding it behind their back. You know, one, two, three leaps. You know, however long it takes to cover that distance. Bam! You know, they, they got you. And by the time you see them coming at you, realizing there's a threat, processing all that in your brain, and then going for for your, for your weapon, by that time it's already too late. Um, so that's advantage the knife does really have. It's it's very a uh, real threat, and I think everyone should. Um, should take that into consideration and familiarize yourself with knives and kind of um, take that perspective. Uh, you know, if I was to do this, you know, how would I do it and what would I look for? Um, so, so, just something to think about. Um, Alright, okay, so with that out of the way, um, I'm actually going to deploy the knife. And the knife, again, is the, uh, is the Elmar Sear. And for the timer, I'm just going to use an iPhone. iPhone 4 comes out tomorrow. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. All right, so that's zero, the timer, and that's the start button and the pause or stop button. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to, as soon as my hand goes for, oh, for the knife, I'm going to start. So, excuse me, what I meant to say is I'm going to press the start button 
and then my hand is going to go for the knife, draw it, and as soon as the knife is in front of the camera like this, I'm going to go ahead and stop the timer. Okay, so it's at zero. All right, so that was one second. Now this thing doesn't, sh uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you guys can see that clearly, it's kind of grayed out, but it's one second, and if you guys don't believe me, you can also use a stopwatch and time it. When you ever see my hand go towards a knife, or just the second before it, go ahead and time it. Um, if you don't believe the timer, so I'm going to do that again, show you guys that it wasn't luck. So it's at zero. Again, one second. Okay. All right. So that's a pretty ideal situation where your hand is next to your body. Um, so let's say let's make it the worst possible situation. Your hand is overextended. So I'm going to put my my hand all the way to the top, as far away from the knife as possible, and I'm going to overextend my arm, meaning that I'm going to stick it to the top left side of my head, which is up here. I'm going to stick my hand up here, and therefore it's overextended, it's in an awkward position, and it'll have to travel the maximum distance of coming down and then pulling the knife out. If I have my arm up here or up to the side, it's a pretty quick motion to come down. Over here, it's, you have to be more coordinated to come here, come down, grab the knife. Um, also, if you have it in the back, it's fairly easy, a short travel to the knife. So I'm just going to make this as awkward as possible. In my opinion, this is probably the worst uh, position your hand can be with the exception of this arm being out of the action and you have to use your left hand. So I'm not going to do that second part, I'm just going to show you guys this part for this video. Okay, so it's at zero, timer, and again, I'm going to set the timer and then I'm going to move my hand. So as soon as I press the timer, this hand is going to move. So if this hand is going to be, I'm going to squat down a little bit, this hand is going to be to the top left of my head, it's going to be above my head. This is going to be a kind of situation where, you know, if a guy comes up to you and says, give me your money, give me whatever's in your wallet, your hand's going to be up here, so it's going to be a shorter distance. But again, worse, I'm trying to think of a bad case scenario, if not worst case scenario for your hand to be. All right, so it's up here. Okay, that was two seconds, and I kind of screwed up on that one. Um, the knife didn't lock all the way, and I had to use my wrist to lock it. So that one, I'm going to count as a fail, just because uh, by the time the knife is here, it should be locked where I can actually perform a stabbing motion. And because I didn't, the knife is actually going to fold in on itself. So I'm going to do that one again. This is all real-time, unedited. So zero. Again, I'm going to squat down to make it a little bit more awkward. Okay, it locked that time. Let's see, two seconds. Okay, so that's the time it takes for me, put the phone away, for me to get my overextended arm above my head to come down, travel this path diagonally, the longest path, get into my pocket and deploy the knife, and the knife will have to perform the stab in two seconds or less. That's with my hand all the way up here. I notice that the shirt that I'm wearing is kind of long, so it kind of covers the knife, so it's easy to get snagged, meaning you pull the knife out like this, gets caught. And also the pocket, the lip of the, uh, the, lip of the pocket is kind of like a jeans trousers, meaning that the, uh, the pocket is in the front. It's not like khakis or your tactical pants where, where the pocket is at, at a slant on the side or perfectly vertical. If your pocket's like that, meaning that means the lip is going to be lower where the lip of the uh, opening is for the pocket. So your knife is actually going to be a little bit lower. So it's easier for you to draw it, not only because your shirt won't get in the way, but also because this is a much more natural motion for you. Come in, grab the knife, deploy it. Come in on the side like this at a slant, or come in like this if it's perfectly vertical. Compared to this pocket, which is you have to dig in and then pull out. So it's a much less natural uh, range of motion. Alright, so I've just demonstrated to you guys how quickly a, a knife can be deployed. And again, I'm pretty sure if I was an attacker, 
let's just say hypothetically speaking, let's say if I was an attacker and I didn't even want to, I didn't even take the knife out, you know, the knife isn't in the back, I'm not even coming at you like this, one, two, three, come, I'm not coming doing that. I'm just saying if I'm close to you or if I'm standing next to you and if I was an attacker, I can get to you in a second or two seconds, my hand's up here. And I don't think, I'm pretty sure if, you know, if I was a bad guy, you're the good guy, you're not going to have enough time to assess the threat, realize it, and take out your weapon. So that's just to uh, show you guys how, how powerful and how dangerous a knife can be. And 